It's an organization that relies heavily on parent and volunteer involvement, which has made it one of the most popular youth athletic events in the state. It's Independent Wrestling Club Wrestling. Thousands of kids from age 5 to 15 in dozens of clubs throughout the state are joining in what is turning out to be great family events. In attending the 1999 Northeastern Michigan Wrestling Association Club Meet held at Ogama Heights High School, we saw firsthand how coaches, parents, and other volunteers come together to give both young boys and girls the opportunity to compete and have fun in matches that draw young athletes of the same age from all parts of Northern Michigan. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin? And what's your last name? Westfall. Westfall. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan what? Chambers. Chambers. Nice to meet you. Isaac Cole. Isaac? Well, it's nice talking to you guys. Now, what is it that when you, what ever got you interested in wrestling? You like the excitement? Huh? I like going to other places and doing stuff. You do? Now, what happens after, if you win your match, what happens? You get to slip in your dad or mom or somebody that, you know, takes it and they put it in this jar. And then you go up in the stands. You do? Is there, can you win any medals? Yeah. Like what? Get right in here. You can get first, second, and third place medals. And have you, what have you won? I've won third and fourth. Third and fourth? Now what is that? Is that a, and is second. it, what, can fourth, you tell me? Fourth you don't get a medal, but you get so the honor of winning. Okay. And so if you get silver, you get what? Second. 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 Bronze. You get third. And what's the goal? Um, first. Uh oh, oh. And you guys got gold? No, no. Uh, but you're working for it though. Yeah. Right? Nice talking to you, and I hope to see you on the mat, and I hope that you guys really get out there and do it to it. Okay? Nice talking to you. And, you, and your name? April. This is April Westfall, and you are the mother of. Kevin. Kevin. And, and uh, I gosh, how long have you been participating with these wrestling matches? This is his second year. Second year. So you've been right at every meet probably and uh, it uh, draws a lot of excitement for mom and dad. Oh, yeah. Yes. And you just get up there and set and root and <laughs> cheer on and yeah. Well, I tell you what, I think it's nice when families can get together. Ike or Frank, what's the first thing that they got to do here? What's this right here they're doing the, down uh, here? They're, uh, they're, they're, they're paying to get in there. Paying to get in. The there. admission fee watch. to get yeah. in for the families and, and everything. Well. And we try to keep that very reasonable, yeah. um, so everybody can afford it. Yeah. Okay. So, so, yeah. For a parent. And it's a dollar. Right, a dollar for mom and dad. All the wrestlers get in free. All the wrestlers are wrestlers pay because they, they got, already they paid, paid their five dollars. Right. And these are very two helpful mothers, and they both have children in the program. They're both volunteers. Yes. yes. And they have uh, boys in the program. Yes. And how old? Eight. Twelve. Eight, twelve. And they are wrestlers. Yes, sir. Yes. And they are champions in your eyes, in certainly. Our eyes. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Always. Uh, the weigh-ins down here. Is right, that right? right. Okay. The they have to grab these weigh-in slips right here. And they're all color coded to each age group. Okay. What they were. These right. are the weigh-in slips. Yes. And it says right on there what they are for. These will be. This will be 13 and 14. So all the wrestlers that are 13 and 14 will grab one of these okay. and take it out. This is our. This is our pairing room. And April is in charge of the pairing room. This is Ike's wife, April. She's Hi, April. Hi, April. How are you? Glad to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's going to be exciting here before too long. I sure will. Yes. I mean, a lot of kids will be coming in here just to wanting to get this and get that, and then. What happens? Actually, the kids aren't allowed in here. They're not in. No. Okay. Uh, the coaches come in and find out the information and go back and read that to, relay that to the parents or the the kids. Um, what comes in here is the weigh-in slips. Uh huh. And I come in here and I sort them out according to age, which are color coded. We have white uh -huh. for the um, eight and under, pink for the nine and ten, um, blue for the eleven, twelve, and yellow for the thirteen and fourteen. And that's how we keep it all straight in here. Great. And uh, everything is color coded, and we just sort them out by weights. And we put them in the categories, and once we get all the weigh-in slips, then we put them onto the charts. That's when we start pairing them up. Mm, and that's when they, when each one of them will look at each other and size them up. Well, can I get, hmm, can I, yes, or whatever. Yes, yes <laughs> they do. Yep, they all like to know who they wrestle. April's nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Look forward to the wrestling out here today. Oh, it's exciting. Yeah. It really is. And who do we have here? Uh, Rick Howard. Rick Howard? And you're here from where? From Midland, one of the staff from Midland. So we're going to bring up about probably, uh, I'd say, 20 kids today. 20 kids. And my gosh, I tell you what, I bet you're looking, uh, the kids are all excited about the, the match. You better believe it. Yeah. All right. So and, uh, are the dads and <laughs> I'll bet. And who do we have here? Steve Fry. Steve? 
Tell them I'm glad to meet you. And you're from where? Uh, Essexville. Essexville. And you're up here as a coach or a parent or what? Uh, a parent. A parent. Yeah. Oh, okay. My son. And uh, he's wrestling. Uh, uh, so how many come from Essexville? Uh, we'll bring probably 12 kids up. 12 kids. And uh, this every Saturday is this uh, uh, during the winter months? Is this what seems, the father seems does? Seems to be about twelve okay. weeks in a row. And uh, whatever got you interested or got your son interested in wrestling? Uh, just the uh, other kids in the school. Everybody started. And, yeah. Uh, it's been a very good thing for him. Real positive influence. Coaches are good. Uh, takes off a little of the energy of you. Right. Know. Right. Well, nice talking to you. And good luck. Well. All right. Take care. Hi, Delvon. And your name? Alan Thompson. Alan, and you're from uh, you're the coach from uh, Meridian. Meridian. And uh, you're here today with how many, how many students? About 10 to 15. 10 to 15, and from what age brackets do you have them? Uh, I from 6 to 14. 6 to 14. Look forward to the match here, and I bet you a lot of them do. Now this guy right here, I, I think I know him. Yeah. This right here is my uh, grandson. This is uh, my youngest grandson. And uh, he's going to be here wrestling today. We're here just to kind of take in the match and see what's going to happen here. And what... Uh, it must be real exciting for a coach like yourself to be working with these young, young boys. And uh, do you work with the young ladies too, or just the, just the boys? Both, both boys and girls. It must be pretty self-rewarding to see them develop and to see them uh, build up self-esteem. Yes. The heart of defeat and the excitement of of a win. Mm -hmm. Well, we hope to come out here with some wins today. I hope so too. <laughs> okay. Nice meeting Thanks. you. Well, Frank, you were saying earlier. I mean, we were talking earlier about parents and participation in this great event. Now, you want to introduce us and explain to us a little bit about what's um, going on? Yeah, this is Terry and this is Pat. They're nice parents, they both have wrestlers in the program. Hi, Pat. Hi. How, How are, are you? Good. Good. <laughs> if it weren't for the parents, tournaments couldn't exist. They run the whole show. They take care of all the table help. They run the concessions, they carry the tickets, everything else. The parents do a lot. So it's all volunteer. All volunteer. Nobody gets nothing. They, get, they might get a free lunch. A free lunch, yeah. but a lot of, a lot of great uh, self-esteem and, right. and esteem for the, for the kids yeah. and for everybody that's involved in right. this whole program. Everybody gets to be a part of it. Right. That's what makes well, it Pat, nice. can you tell us a little bit about uh, why you happen to get involved in all this? Well, uh, my husband was a wrestler when he was in high school. And uh -huh. Well, I got the little boy, and he's got to follow Dad's footsteps. How old is your boy? Six. Six years old, and he's out. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> and we'll be watching for him today, then. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure you're going to be rooting for a lot of the kids out here. Oh, yes. yes. Win, lose, or draw, it's always exciting to see. As long as they try their best. Their best, yeah. That's right. Well, nice talking to you, Pat. Thank you. And to Terry, yeah. tell us a little bit about uh, how you got started in this and what your participation uh, is. We move up north here, and uh, they had a youth program for wrestling, swimming, and everything. My boy decided he wanted to go wrestle so it's six years now. Uh-huh. So does this, uh, this is something that really is, you feel is needed in the community, more of this kind of participation? Yes, definitely. Youth programs are so important. Yeah. These kids off the streets, keeps them busy. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, from what I've seen uh, over the last couple of weeks, I've just been to one of these meets that my son got me involved in, and he wanted me to come and see it, and it really, truly is exciting to see these little guys get out there uh, and wrestle and, and get with the program. Nice talking to you, and uh, thanks for being part of Michigan Magazine. Who am I with here? Carl McGregor. Hi, Carl. Glad to see you. Mm -hmm. My gosh, this is going to be quite an event here today. Oh, yeah. All this excitement. This is what you call a, a, a pregame, or yeah. what do you call this? Uh, this is what they all here to get weighed in. Weighed in? They're just getting warmed up. I've got them all over the place. Hundreds of them. And you, your son, he's participating today? Yeah. He's been doing it since he's eight years old and he's 12 now. 12 now. And so what class does he fall in? Right today, he's hoping to get into the 95 pound. 12 year old. Yeah. And how is he doing as far as uh, this in the match? This year, he's, it's been tough. He's been sick. He missed two meets. Oh my. But so far, he's got a second and uh, he's got a third in one of the regionals last Saturday. Great. Well, it looks to me like there's going to be plenty of excitement on the floor today. It's going to get loud. It's going to get warm. <laughs> All right. Nice talking yeah. with you, Carl. Thank you, Del. All right. Uh, I'd like to say at this time, it really has been a pleasure to come down here and, and to, to talk with you and to meet uh, all these young boys and girls and that are doing something that is family. Yep. And this is what it's all about. And like say, thanks so much for being part of Michigan Magazine, and we wish you all continued success throughout the years of your life. We thank you. Okay, Chuck. Thank you. Thank you. A lot. you.